Have you ever wondered when people say that they just hit their protein goal for the day or they need to stay under X amount of carbs to maintain their weight or lose their weight? Have you ever been confused about what they're talking about and what this means in grams? And have you ever wondered what your personalized grams for protein, carbs, and fat is? This is something called macros. And in today's video, we will learn how to calculate your personalized macros. <laughs> You were yet, but you're not cause this bring back all the memories of everything we've been through. These 31 yet today, these 41 that will last on the way, cause this bring back all the memories. And memories bring back, memories bring back you. Hi my health enthusiasts, I hope you guys are doing really well. Up until now, I have talked a lot about calories, your cal caloric deficit when it comes to weight loss, your calories for maintenance, your caloric surplus when it comes to bulking, but we haven't touched upon macros. You've heard a lot about macro-based diets, right? Your protein, your carbs, and your fat. Now for starters, I don't really track my macros every day because I feel like I, can, I get very stressed out if I go under or over my macros and I get a obsessive about it however if I have a vacation coming up or some wedding or some big event then yes macros come into play a lot because I really like to know how much protein fat and carbs I need in order to reach my goals macro calculations can be very very nice for two kinds of people one if you're struggling to reach your goal and you've tried everything and you've tried calorie based diets but you are not able to change your weight you don't know how to reach your goals then macros can be very important for you because that way you know the amount of carbs fat and protein you need to reach your goal and number two it can be really nice for people who are very number based people a lot of my clients especially who are mathematicians or have something to do with engineering they really like numbers and they like to calculate out their numbers and know exactly how much they need for each macro and so if you are a very mathematical minded person you like numbers you like to know what you need to do to reach a certain goal then yes macro calculations can be very useful for you Okay, now let's calculate our macros because I know that you're here for that. And the first thing that we need to do when we're trying to calculate our macros is calculate our calories. Now I have already made a video on calculating your calories because that video goes in depth when it comes to calculating your calories for your gender, for your height, for your weight. And I will link that video in the description box below because that is the most accurate way of calculating your calories. So what we do is we take our body weight in pounds times 14 to 16. Now you will choose 14 if you have very low activity level. For example, if you have a sedentary job where you mostly sit at a desk, you don't move a lot, and you will choose 16 if you move a lot or you work out like six, seven days a week and you have a lot of activity. Now I am somewhere in between, so I'm going to use my example for this. You can put in your numbers. I'm somewhere in between. I was working out a lot before quarantine, but right now I try to get some movement in, but I'm not doing as much as I would like to. So what I'm going to do is, for example, if my weight is 130, it's been a while that I weighed myself, but let's assume because my ideal body weight is 130, so I'm going to take 130 and multiply that by 15. and that gives me 1950 calories per day now this is the amount of calories 1950 that I need to take per day for maintenance however because this video is for weight loss we will try to cut down our calories although my personal goals are to bulk up and gain some muscle mass but for the sake of this video I'm going to give the example of losing weight and so I'm going to cut down my calories now let's do 500 calories cut down because um, if you want to lose one pound per week and you're not working out, then you try to cut down 500 calories. Although this is a lot to cut down, I would recommend for beginners to cut down around 200 or 300, but let's go with the extreme um, and cut down 500 calories. So if I cut down 500 calories out of my 1950 daily requirement, 
I get to 1450 calories per day. Now this is the number that we're going to base all our calculations on, all our macro calculations on, because I need to have 1450 calories per day in order to lose weight. Now, the first calculation that we're gonna do is our protein requirement. So to calculate our protein requirement for the day in grams, we're going to take 130 and we're going to multiply that by 0.8 to 1.1. Now this number really depends on your muscle mass. If you're petite, you don't have a lot of muscle, and you're a small structured person, then you can stick to the lower number. Or if you're big, you have a lot of lean muscle, you have a lot of muscle mass, then I would suggest that you go with the larger number because that means that you need more protein in your body to maintain your muscle. And you need more pre protein in your body to gain muscle mass. For example, if you're trying to bulk up, you would go with the higher number because you need more protein for more muscle. For me, I will try to stay somewhere in between. I would probably take one because yes, I do want to gain a lot of muscle, but I don't have a lot of muscle in my body right now and I'm not huge structured. I am somewhere in between. So I'm going to take 130 and I'll multiply that by one, which gives me 130 grams of protein per day. Now let's move on to our fat calculation. For fat, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to multiply 130, but this time our numbers are going to be different. You're going to multiply it by 0 0.35 to 0 0.45. So the number that I'm going to choose is 0 0.4. I'm going to try to take moderate fat in my diet. which gives me 52 grams of fat per day. So I need to consume 52 grams of fat and 130 grams of protein for 1450 calories per day. Now let's move on to carbs. For the carb calculation, we're going to take the other route. We're actually first going to see how many calories we're getting from protein, how many calories we're getting from fat, and then subtract that by the total calories to get the calories from carbs. So what we're going to do is we're going to first multiply 130 by 4 to get how many calories we're getting from protein because there are 4 calories in 1 gram of protein. Here it comes out to be 520 calories from protein. Now to get the calories from fat, what we're going to do is multiply 52, which we get from here, by 9, because there are 9 calories in every gram of fat. That's why they say that it takes longer for our body to burn fat because it has more calories. And so we have 520 calories coming from protein. We have 468 calories coming from fat. So let's see how many calories are coming from carbohydrates. So we take our total amount of uh, calories, which is 1450. We minus the 520 from protein. We minus the 468 from fat. And then we get 462 calories from carbs so to get our macros for carbs we're going to do the same thing that we did for protein there are four calories in every gram of protein and similarly there are four calories in every gram of carbs and so to get our grams for carbs what we're going to do is because this many calories are coming from carbs 462 what we're going to do is we're going to divide this by 4 to get our grams of carbs. Grams coming from carbs. Now, to go over all of this, first what we did is we calculated our calories. I took in my body weight in pounds and multiplied it by my activity factor between this and that was supposed to be 15 because I'm, I am active but I'm not very active. 
If I was very active, I would have taken 16. So I took 15 and I got 1950 calories per day as my maintenance calories. But because this video is about weight loss, I subtracted 500 calories from my daily calories to get 1450 calories to lose one pound of fat every week. But this is without doing any exercise. You know, if you are working out, then your calculations would be slightly different because you will take into account the calories that you're burning through your workouts. To lose weight, I am taking 1450 calories per day and I want to calculate my macros for that. I want to know how much protein I need, how much fat I need, how many carbs I need. So the first thing I did was I took 130, which is my body weight, times either 0.8 or 0.1, somewhere between. It really depends on your muscle mass because I am tall however I don't have a lot of muscle I'm taking one if I was doing this calculation for someone like my husband I would probably put 1.1 because he has a lot of muscle mass so I'm taking 130 times 1 which gives me 130 grams of protein to take per day now let's move to our fat again I'm gonna take my body weight 130 and I'm going to multiply it by either 0.35 or 0.45 I've taken 0.4 as the amount because I want to stay somewhere between. I don't want to take a lot of fat and I don't want to take very less fat. I just want the moderate amount of fat that I need in order to lose weight. Because if I was on the keto diet, I would probably be taking more fat. So 130 times 0.4, which gives me 52 grams of fat that I need to take per day. Now for carbs, we take 130 grams and we multiply it by four, we get 520 calories from protein. We take 52 grams and we multiply it by nine, we get 468 calories from fat. And then we subtract that from the total, 1450 minus 520 minus 468, and we get the amount of calories that we were taking from carbs. We did this so that we can calculate the grams because there are four calories in every gram of carbs. We divide it by four, and we get 116 grams of carbs. I hope that this makes sense to you guys. It's a super simple calculation. Just plug in your numbers and you should be good to go. Now that you know your calories and therefore you calculated your macros, you know it, you've been following it, you see progress. Now what is the next step to do? Now the next step is if you are trying to gain muscle mass, then you go a little more in your caloric surplus and therefore your macros will change as well. But if you're trying to lose weight, then you increase your caloric deficit and that way your macros will automatically change as well. Which is why I recommend do not start with a huge caloric deficit. Don't cut a huge amount of calories because you will have to increase your caloric deficit with time in order to have good results. So you keep adjusting your numbers for progress and that way your macros keep changing too. Of course, I won't recommend that you do this every single day because you confuse your body then and you your body doesn't know what's going on. But if you have hit a plateau and your weight is not changing, it's stagnant for a while, you're not gaining muscle mass or if your uh, aim is weight loss, Loss, like in the series you're not losing any more weight then you keep cutting some calories and your macros change and that way you will see progress however I absolutely do not recommend that you cut a lot of calories and, and eat very less because if you have a huge calorie deficit you can really mess up your metabolism your body needs a certain amount of food to nourish it and to provide it with energy what I recommend instead is that you increase your NEAT which is your non-exercise activity thermogenesis which means that you walking or you cooking or you know your daily activity basically what I'm saying is move around do different things like I said in my previous video walk the stairs instead of taking the elevator park your car further away from the grocery store so that you have some extra uh, steps in your day increase your movement and also increase your um, hit exercises that get that get your heart rate up that really make you sweat and that way you will be getting some calories from there you will be cutting down calories by increasing your activity instead of you know cutting down on your food so as usual I don't recommend going below 1200 calories at all no matter what your age weight anything is please don't go below that try to increase your activity and if you are confused about these numbers that I know that this can be an overwhelming calculation especially for people who hate math 
like me but uh, this can be an overwhelming calculation and if you are confused about anything reach out to me we are on facebook and instagram as eat mostly greens and you know you can just easily dm me and i can help you figure it out as always if you like this video give it a thumbs up follow us on facebook and instagram subscribe to our channel here on youtube and take care and keep eating mostly greens bye